The new grillage section definition allows you to define for longitudinal sections your girder, your slab, which may taper and may have effective whips or even tapering effective whips, and also how the girder and slab interact, such as whether the slab is cracked and what the torsional connection is. For your transverse sections, you can again define your slab, which can be cracked or uncracked, or if you had a voided slab deck rather than beam and slab, there are also voided options. You can also define grillage material properties such as this dead load property, which considers the slab as having mass but no stiffness, so the wet concrete is taken by the girder alone, or this long-term property where the stiffness of both is included. These can then be assigned in different analyses with the loads appropriate to the material property within the same analysis. This stress plot shows a dead load acting on the beam alone, this one the surfacing acting on the combined section. 